guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawnee. If you are new, please subscribe, like, share this video. If you find this information that I'm gonna give you today, information, no, all right? Um, is that even a word? Anyway, if you find this information informational, please share it to your friends. Um, sorry guys, this video is just for the women, unless you wanna give this to somebody. I don't know, I don't know. But um, I am going to be reviewing some The Honey Pot Company products today. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. All right. I've been using two products from The Honey Pot. It is the foaming spray. No, I lied. It's the foaming wash. Um, I don't know where the top is. Um, but pretty much you just three little pumps into your towel, your hand. However you wash your vagina, I am not judging you. However you wash your vagina, you can spray two to three pumps and wash yourself. Um, this right here, I got a sensitive. Can't even see it. But right here, I got sensitive. Um, but it's not like other sensitive products to where it doesn't have a smell. This has a really, really good smell to it. And this one is lavender, vinegar, and candula. Um, and I like it a lot. And the other one I've been using is the sensitive wipes. So I've been using the sensitive wipes or whatever. And so it's chamomile, aloe, and lemon peel. Like I said, it is sensitive, but it do has a, an amazing smell to it. it is the, I have organic super um, pads with wings. And um, I have, of course, I have not used it before. I hope it's good. I don't know if it has a scent to it like the other ones, um, but it is mint, lavender, and aloe. And I hope to only use this at nighttime when I'm asleep. And I also have some panty spray, and this scent right here is lavender. It's the purple bottle. Um, and it is aloe vera, rose, and lavender. And um, it says calming on it. Um, I don't, I guess, I don't know. But I got it because I love the smell. At the store, they only had the lavender kind and they had the cucumber kind. I wasn't really too fond of it. It actually smelled good, but I'm not into the cucumber smell. All right, so the big one that I've been waiting to try will be the menstrual cup. Um, I've been wanting to try something similar to this for years, but I've kind of been scared. But I'm at the point to where um, I don't wear tampons and I'm tired of wearing pads. The reason why I'm tired of wearing pads, I know this is a little TMI, but of course, this is just for the ladies. I know someone out there has pretty much probably had the same experience as I am. I've been using the same brand of pads for about 10 years, or really since I've started having cycles. And so I don't know why, but every time I have my cycle and um, I always get a, like a irritation where the pad is. And so honestly, I don't wear tampons because I used to get headaches from them. And so honestly, this is pretty much the my last resort. I know they have other things for your period, but I wanna try this. Um, so this right here, it is, let me see. It says gynecologist approved. It is medical grade A silicone. Um, it's no plastic, no latex, or anything like that. You can also wear this cup up to 12 hours. And I did do my research on stuff like this, different brands and stuff like this, but I, like I said, I went with this product because I do use other products from them. And it's all natural, all organic products. And it, like I said, it's black owned. So that's why I kinda wanna just, just give this a try. Um, they do have two different sizes for the menstrual cup. Size one, it says it's for women under 30 who have a light to medium flow. And it is 25 milliliters. Um, that's how much the cup holds. Um, that's how many liquids the cup holds. And then size two is for women over 30, post baby, and um, with heavier with the heavier flow. I am post baby, which I've had two kids in the past, but my floats have never been super heavy or like uncontrollable to where I'm like, changing my pad constantly, uh, like every 30 minutes or something. So right here, it just tells you pretty much the anatomy of the cup. Um, So I'm gonna just open it, cause I haven't opened it yet. Okay, I opened it in the store because I just want to make sure it was all put together, okay. Oh Lord, they make sure, it dropped on the floor, but I am gonna sterilize it, hold on. Ugh. All right, so. They have a little baggie that you can put your little cup in. 
that's cool. That way you can, I feel like if this work do work for me, I'll buy two. And so like if I'm out in public or something like that, I'll like wash it really quick and stick it in the bag and put it in my purse instead of just, you know, cause I think it'll be trickier just in public to try to wash your thing off or whatever, wash your cup off. All right, so this is the cup right here. They have this little thing right here. Is it hollow? Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, so they have this to where when you do stick it up in your vagina, you can pull it down. They have ridges right here. It makes it easier for you to, you know, pull it down. They do have like a measuring cup type of thing. They have like little measuring lines in here, I guess, where you can see how much, you know, of the liquids went in here. That's cool. What else? Oh no, maybe somebody did open this. They don't even have instructions. Okay, well, I don't know where the instructions are, but I'll look on the internet. And so they have different folding techniques. I guess you do have to figure out what folding technique work with you. So I've seen some to where it's like, you know, a C cup like this. They call it a C cup. I don't know the words for it, so I'm gonna just start making my own little words. But they do have it to where like you can like push it down like that. I think I'm gonna try this one because it's like much smaller. Nobody trying to do all this and but they do say when you when you put it inside your vagina to you know of course fold it the way you like when you pull push it up there you'll turn it and then like kind of like you know let it go and it should be like this so i don't know let's today is gonna be my first day trying it today is not actually the first day of my cycle it's actually the second um so i'm just gonna keep y'all on this journey and see if i like it or not i hope i like it i really do so let's go get to sterilizing it all right, as you can see, my water is boiling. I am gonna be adding my cup into the pot. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I just added my cup into the pot. As you can see, it is on and popping up in there. Look, pop, pop, pop. Nah, but um, I did get a new pot from Walmart. And I also got a new one of these little spoons i got it metal of course because you know the boiling hot water is supposed to sterilize it and also i'm gonna put this in there um before you know i take it out or whatever that way this is freshly clean and sterilized because i do not want anything going wrong when i put this in inside my vagina okay some people are like oh that's too much it ain't too much for me you know so you'll have to keep this in here for five to seven minutes um, in between, you know, you know, getting the cup empty and stuff like that, you'll clean it with warm water. All right. So you'll just clean that with warm water. But at the end of your cycle, you will do this boiling method. So just boil the water, put the cup in there for five to seven minutes. And yeah, then just tuck it away and wait for your next cycle. All right. So I'll be back once this is done. All right. So I'm about to take it out. It's been like seven minutes, eight minutes, actually. Um... I'm gonna take it out. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. So got water in it. I maybe should have bought tongs instead of buying this um, thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do like that. So I'm gonna just let it cool down and dry a little bit. Y'all, do not mind my hair, okay? In like every video that I've had so far, which is like six or five of them, my hair has been crazy if it's been down. You see? Well, I kind of just was trying to get it to stay down. But they're locks. They have a mind of their own. You know. Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. They do what they want, okay? All right, so right now I'm waiting on them to, waiting on my cup to cool down. And I turned it upside down. That way it kind of, you know, the water kind of leaks out and, you know, falls out or whatever. So I'm going to keep that there for like another three minutes. But it shouldn't take too long to dry or to uh, cool down. So I'm gonna just let that cool down and yeah, I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm really am nervous. Like I'm, I'm nervous and I'm excited at the same damn time, okay? No, I'm, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. So um, I'm just waiting on it to cool down. I did buy a new pot to sterilize my menstrual cup. Um, and I bought a new spoon as well. I bought this spoon and um, 
I, I just feel like I had to buy a new one just because I'm a little OCD and I would think about just cooking stuff and thinking about my menstrual cup being inside the pot. You feel, you get what I'm saying? Like to me, it's like, this goes in my body and the food is going in my body a different way. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's a no, mm -mm. buy a new pot if you want to. The pot I got from Walmart was six, $7 and this little spoon was like three eighty nine. dollars um, from Walmart as well. So just, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do, but if you want to be making some Roman noodles or you want to be boiling a pot for your tea or something, or have you, whatever you're doing in that pot, you're going to be thinking about your, your menstrual cup and, and your menstrual cup floating and sterilizing in it. But that's, that's not me. That's you. Sorry, you can't come with me. Three days later. So that was an experience. I'm gonna just stand up because this is pretty much the end of the video. I am going to be doing a review of how the rest of my cycle went. My cycle normally lasts for five to six days and I'm honestly excited. It really wasn't nothing putting it up. Like you find, like I said, find a method that will work for you. Um, online, they have different type of methods that you can fold your cup in. I picked the one that was more narrow at the top that because I was nervous, right? And so I found the one that was more narrow at the top and um, pretty much did what the instruction said. It like popped right there. Um, you know, sometimes you have to fill around to make sure the cup is open. And honestly, that's what I did. So hopefully I get no leaks or anything like that. I'm not gonna wear any panty liners. I'm not gonna wear any pads or anything like that. I kind of want to get the full experience of wearing a menstrual cup and yeah, so maybe next week I'll have a video saying, you know, if I liked it or not, if I had any leaks, did it work well with me pooping? Cause you know, when you pooping, you gotta... So, no, I'm so serious. Like that's something that people really just do not talk about um, because it's gonna happen. Honestly, like I said, I used tampons in the past. It kind of just felt like putting a tampon in. Um, I really... I really don't feel it. I really don't. So hopefully it stays like that all day because if it's going to be in there, I'd rather just not feel it. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video and stay tuned for the review for this video.